If other countries don't do their part and reduce CO2 emissions and slow down the global warming and slow down sea level rise, it endangers, endangers all countries themselves as well as the world as well as Singapore. We can't force other countries to do what we think we would like them to do. All we can do is our share, and because we are doing our share, we can say we can stand up and we have the moral standing to say, well, I'm doing my part, please do your part. But if they still don't do their part, what do I do? I have to protect myself, and therefore I must prepare for rising sea levels and I must spend if need be, $100 billion over 100 years, if need be, more than that, in order to make sure that if the sea levels rise, Singapore does not become a smaller island, which otherwise is very much on the cards. And we can afford the money, and we will find, we will make our plans carefully, we make sure that the money is well spent. But we have to protect ourselves, Right-wing governments is not just right-wing governments, even left-wing governments in countries. Basically, it's countries where there's population pressure, where they find it difficult to look into the long term, and they want here and now. I need land to plant new crops. I need money, so I'm mining coal and selling to other countries. I have oil. I have no other, I'm not very good at doing anything else very much, and therefore I'm taking the oil out of the ground and I'm going to sell the oil to people who will burn it and put CO2 in the atmosphere. And I don't think those are pressures which governments can easily ignore. Because if you ignore them, somebody else will turn up and say, take that, why don't you do that? It's money for jam. And the, the government which wants to be green is kicked out and somebody else comes in and, uh, well, he despoils the planet. So all we can do is to say, let's work at this together. There was a Paris Accord. It's a first step. It's not enough, but anyway, it's a step in the right direction. Other steps will have to be taken later on, but this is a first step and everybody is signed up. So if we don't do our part, we are not a good global citizen. And whether you are big or small, if you don't do your part, you're not a good global citizen. And we hope that has some impact. The world is an imperfect place, and that's the way difficult problems can be solved, or at least tackled with partial solutions.